Welcome back, this is part 10 of the car AI series. In the last video, we saw that our car is avoiding the obstacles. The only thing we missed is that it gets stuck at some corners, like you can see here. In this episode, we're going to fix this by lerping the wheel angles, so that it doesn't snap to an angle, but gently fades over to another. We begin by opening up our car engine script. For this lerping, we make one new variable, and this will be a private float. We call this target steer angle. And let's default this to zero. So if we change the steer angle, we change this number and then it will lerp to this variable. For the lerping, we make a new function. So scroll down to your scripts and then we make a private void called lerp to steer angle. And the thing we want to do here is lerp our wheel angle. So we take our wheel front left dot steer angle and we equal this to a lerp function. And the lerp function will come from the math class. So math so math f dot lerp. And the first parameter is the start of the lerp. So this will be our wheel front left dot steer angle. And then, and then we want to go to our target steer angle and for now we just say time dot delta time then we want to multiply this by a speed variable so let's make that let's put it underneath the maximum steer angle a public float turn speed and I have no idea what number we can put in here so let's just say 5 and experiment with it then scroll down again and multiply your time delta time by your turn speed. Then we do the same thing for the front right wheel. So just copy it and paste it. And instead of front left, we go front right. And also here to be sure. Previously, we set the steer angle at two points. It was in the apply steer function and it was in the avoiding. So in the sensor function. We're going to replace this with a new line. So first we write a new line. This will be our target steer angle equals this piece. So instead of just setting it directly, we want to loop to this new angle. So we do this and then we can remove those two lines. We do the same thing for the apply steer. So first we say our, so first we say our target steer angle equals and in this case it will be the new steer so copy this paste it here and now we can also remove those lines then one thing we almost forgot is to call this function otherwise the looping does not happen so at the top at your fixed update just at the bottom we say lerp to steer angle so this function will also be called then let's test it out in unity and as you can see the wheels are now slowly turning Uh, I think 5 is a pretty good number, only it's very slippery now. So if you select all of your wheel colliders, for me those settings work pretty fine, but your car can be different. Try to mess around with those settings and try to see where your car performs the best. So that was it for this episode. In the next episode we will add some more functionality to our cars so they can drive better. Because if you take a look at this, it's kind of a mess. I thought it would be nice to set up these barriers as decoration, but as you can see, a car can't handle this. The car sees the barriers and is trying to avoid it, but what it actually needs to do is follow the path. Maybe we're going to fix this in a later episode, but for now we just remove the barriers. But you only have to do it at this side. So I hope to see you in the next part, and for now have fun playing with those cars.